Okay, uh, on this example, we're going to let A be the area of a circle, and the radius is going to be represented by R. So we're given a little bit of information about this. We're given that dr dt equals three. So that's the rate that the radius is changing with respect to time and is going to be three. And then dA dt, the rate at which the area is changing with respect to time is what we're trying to find. And we're also given that the radius is equal to two. So what we want to do is start out with the formula for the area of a circle. So the area of a circle can be represented by pi multiplied by r squared. And we're going to uh, use related rates and implicitly differentiate this with respect to time because of the information that's given to us. So first of all, we have dA dt, and that's the derivative of a is just going to be one, equals pi is a constant, so it's going to come along. And then the derivative of r squared using the power rule is 2r, but we differentiated r with respect to time, so that's dr dt. All right, now that we've taken the derivative implicitly, what we want to do is we want to plug in the information that we know. Now we don't know dA dt, but we're trying to find that. So let's plug in the rest of the information. So we have pi times two times, instead of r, we can also put a two in that spot based on the information that's given. And then dr dt is three. All right, from here, just a little bit of simplifying down and we have dr, dA dt is gonna equal two times two times three is gonna be 12 pi. And there's our solution. All right, I hope this helps with implicit differentiation. Good luck to you on it.